Welcome back to Creative Excuses. Long story short, two years ago, I created this channel. Two months ago, I hit a thousand subscribers. Thanks for that. Six weeks ago, Skinny Cheeks had the idea to play ESO like a roguelike on stream. One month ago, I asked Zoss for a Necrom code to cover the game on release. And a week ago, I found out they gave me a code. I asked Mr. Cheeks if I could use his idea. And here we are. We'll go over the rest soon, but there's one big rule. Don't die too often. Okay, let's go. This is the character creation screen. This is going to be character number one. We are going to call them rogue like as long as that is available. All right, here is our character. Let's jump into it. Name is already in use, of course. Okay, rogue like when in doubt, always put an apostrophe. Oh, and look at that gross UI. Oh, <laughs> Jeez. All right, we have to do the tutorial here and we got to fix this UI. So I will be right back. Okay, that was a lot of work, but we got the UI set up how I want it, I think, except for this, which is right there. And I don't know why I can't move this, but whatever. And I don't know what this is. And I don't know what this is. I don't know where these came from. These are not on my other account. So who knows? Here's the character. Let's do the tutorial. I'm such a professional. This is exactly how all of the combat in ESO goes. I did hear that there was this guy who did this. He did the tutorial island, or whatever we want to call this, Balfiera. And he leveled all the way to level 50 here. Which is pretty nuts. Look at that. Get wrecked, noob. And now I get to pick. All right, let's see. This is... No, I don't want to walk too close. Based on the music, I think this is Necrom. Yeah, okay, you can get close. It just didn't show up. All right, Telvani Peninsula it is. Let's go. Oh, dear God. I almost died right after finishing the tutorial. Whew. Okay, let's find a nice little spot that's not going to get me killed, and let's chit-chat for a second. Now that we've finished the tutorial for the first of probably many times, and almost died for the first of a million times, let's go over the rules. There are four main rules. The first one, and the most important rule here, is that every character gets precisely one death. In the interest of entertainment and the ability to access all content in the game though, one death means an unsafe death. Basically, dying anywhere for any reason that is not a death in a Battlegrounds match is an unsafe death. The only reason I'm defining Battlegrounds as a safe death is because there is absolutely no PvE in Battlegrounds. Battlegrounds deaths are the only safe deaths. I die in Cyrodiil, I delete. I die in Imperial City, I delete. I fall off a cliff and die, I delete. Number two. Any items on my character at the time of death are deleted, including crown items, armory slots, outfit slots, mythics, whatever it is, it's gone. It gets deleted with my character. Number three, any items in the bank are safe upon death. Any champion points earned are safe and free to use as well. And number four, this one I actually want you guys to go vote on in the community tab on my channel page. Go vote, please. If you guys choose this, the last rule is going to be I can't join any guilds. This denies me access to selling through guild traders as the main limitation, making money making a bit more difficult, which could lead to some funny interactions trying to sell stuff through zone chat, or just make the series slower than I want to get some bag space or bank space. I'm not so sure about this one, so go vote. Okay, with the rules out of the way, what are my goals? Well, I'm going to have a set of goals for every character that I play. This first one, I've got just a few simple, easy peasy goals. Get as many champion points as I can without dying. Farm out the most important mythic items, like the Oaken Soul Ring, Ring of the Pale Order, maybe a few others, without dying. And then I want to get Spirit Slayer, which is a trifecta of Vadashran Hollows, without dying. And then I want to get Flawless Conqueror from Maelstrom Arena, which is completing it on Veteran without dying. All right, with those goals in mind, let's jump into it. We, I was gonna start the quest right now, but I actually realized I should go and get the guild skill line. So let's go do that. Hopefully I can travel to Ardon and it will work out. All right, Hall Steward, I would like to join the Fighters Guild. Thank you for letting me join the Fighters Guild. That was so hard. Thank you so much, sir. 
I wonder if the Mage's Guild is going to be as difficult to join. Oh my gosh, is it this guy? Oh, look at the... Oh my gosh, I'm such a good wizard. Thanks for letting me join. Hey, look, the minimap says there's a lore book up here. And you know what we need a lot of? We need lore books. We need a lot of lore books, actually, because Structured Entropy is such a good heal for the Arcanist. Outfit Station. We don't have enough money for dyes. We don't have any dyes. So we're just going to rock this. This will be our uh, Season 1 outfit. Do you get new card game. Do you get experience Tales. from doing Tales of Tribute? Hmm. If you do, I might want to actually do the quest. That could be a good way to level up pretty easily, but also a good way to level up safely. Oh, that feels awful. Leveling up through Tales of Tribute, but the dailies, you do get you do. Tales of Tribute. XP. Oh no. I don't know. We're going to start with the Telvani Peninsula. We're not doing Tales of Tribute right now. Okay, so we're going to do the story. This is going to get us some extra XP. It's going to get us to explore the region a bit. And we're going to get to experience the story as a crap character with no champion points. And that is a good thing. So let's uh, let's see what this is all about. Fate has noticed your talent for altering destiny. Ma'am, I'm level three. Oh, oh, oh. I do have a horse because of all those collector's edition things. So that's kind of cool. Didn't even have to hit level 10 first. Do I fight it? Heck yeah. Gosh, you talk so slow. What's this all about? You know what? I'll be back in like four hours when this is done. The one who knows materializes in a delimited projection. Uh. I want to say she's really condescending, but she's also talking not even beyond. She's talking differently. Like she spends too much time looking at crazy. Uh, I seem to have found Apocrypha. Let's go. Heck yeah. Level four. Now we can get rid of the crux without having to travel. Okay. So she, oh, she gave us portals. Well, that's convenient. Necropolis. I mean, I'm in the necropolis, so let's not go there. Let's go to Tell Rendy's. They're mercenaries, Fla. What's a Fla? What did you just insult me with? Fla? What? And then she's got this like smirk with like one eyebrow raised and one side of her lip. What are you calling me, Fla? What? You dare enter the Tower of Mel, Master of the Telvani? Turn back or be destroyed. Dear. God, that was a terrifying voice. Oh, God. Or we could have a nice chat and discuss this like civilized people. What is happening? Oh, my gosh, it's his corpse. That's rough, buddy. I don't like this lady. I'm going to skip. This place is cool. This makes her for some, uh, some good photos. Let's... I think that's worth quite the screenshot. Back up a little bit, give it a little more separation. Just like that. Serving Master Shelreni has become difficult. In the meantime, do better. If you disappoint me again, I'll skin you alive and turn you into a fur-lined cloak. If she skins him alive and turns him into a fur-lined cloak, if he's still alive after the skinning, could he wear the cloak? Let's discuss our arrangement, my chariot of flesh and bone. <laughs> my chariot of flesh and bone. Choose another portal proxy. Were you sent to help me with the cultists? Before you die? <laughs> Screw it. You're great. I want you as a pet. I'd prefer to sit back and wait for entropy to claim us all. But I suppose we must do something. <laughs> what a treat you are. M mortals should have the decency to not leave their empty husks lying about. It's untidy. Oh my gosh. Oh, now's my chance. Oh God. Oh. Oh no. No, no, no. 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 Yeah, give me that 80 XP. Also, that was terrifying. They did like 8k damage in like one hit. If I fall, I probably die. I didn't think about that. I gotta be careful in literally every place I go. Oh, there's so many dungeons that have places where I can fall and die. Ah! That is a sure way to die. Oh god, he's got a lot. Of, he's got a lot. Don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me. Don't do it. Oh, he's immune? Okay. 
I'm actually scared, but only because if I die, I literally have to completely restart. Oh god. No, no. Am I good? Am I good? Good. Whew. Honestly, super scared. Like, my food ran out, so I'm low on health. Whew. It would be easier if I could just float, dear god. I'm scared of heights in real life. And so the fact that, like, if I just fall off that, I have to restart. Makes heights super spooky. Super spooky. Um, we are playing a roguelike. I think there's only one person here, so... Oh, am I the only person here? I'm the only person here, so I don't even have to talk about this. We're just gonna do it. But you look like a uh, mid-2000s singer. Yep, you really do. <laughs> Sorry, I can't let you wander around unattended on a ship under my watch. Do we have a skill point? Mage's Guild? Oh yeah, Persuade. I'm so persuasive. Look at this nast. And yet here we are just walking around, breathing it in with no mask on. Necrom's kind of cool. That's some really bad, really bad flute playing though. I don't know if I could do better, but it was that was bad. This is cool. I like this room. This feels like Halo. Does this feel like Halo to anybody else? Why does this feel like Halo? Why? Something about this feels like a Halo game. I got a level, level seven. Oh boy, easy. Taunt, 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 heal. Okay, all right, I was way more scared than I needed to be. Sir, can I have your XP? Bye-bye. Why would you run towards the beam? Why would anybody run towards the beam? I can't say that I'm like enjoying the story. I know that I'm not like watching everything. Like it's still cool, I guess, but like, it just kind of seems like it's just another like, oh, the world's gonna end, save it. I don't know, I don't feel invested. Like the story is just like, oh, we've heard you're cool, help. And the flappy bird's in the way. I like that it gave directions, that's so cool. One of the portals leads to the endless library of Apocrypha. Once there, head northwest. We will do that. So we'll save our skills. Uh, okay, let's not jump down. Don't jump down. Don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. Don't die. Don't die. I have one job, and that's not to die. Through this door to the endless library of Apocrypha. Uh, that's, like, like technically, yeah, that's northwest. All right, we're just going to go to this delve. Let's go get a sky shard on our way there. One thing I'm not going to do yet is PvP, because if I do PvP, I will surely die. And I have, I've kind of decided that I don't want PvP deaths to count as deaths for the, the, the roguelike nature of the game. Because otherwise I just can't do PvP at all. This is so nasty. Choirs? Wind? Queers? Queerus? How do you say that? Hmm, do I do the quest? Nope. Yes? No. Yes? Could you imagine walking up to someone in real life like this and they just like dump all of this information on you without like, hey, how are you? Easy peasy. Uh, okay. So we go up here. Oh gosh, I should never ever bring this character into this delve. This is not how this should go. It's terrifying. I'm actually like so nervous. Okay, so this is not the way down. I should not jump. I'm not going to jump. I'm too scared. Oh, how much gold do I have? I have 1,000. 50 at something i'm literally gonna teleport out of here so that i don't have to run around and so i don't have to jump down oh my gosh i forgot about this the freaking ograms are dancing they're dancing sure how are we gonna find anything useful in all the these books so you can google it all right goodbye i don't like you out indeed can we make this jump Oh, yes. Okay, my ankles hurt, but that's it. I did get nervous when I did that, though. I did. I really did. Hey, level 10. I can do dungeons now. Doing a dungeon would be so risky, and honestly, I'd probably try it. The knowledge you seek can destroy reality. 
Can you imagine any revelation that possesses such power? Yeah, they're called Elder Scrolls. All right, you talk really slow, but we'll talk, Mr. Eyeballs. Use my ghost sight. He's really obsessed with his ghost sight. He's kind of like every hammer is a nail, and so every problem is a swing. Use my ghost sight. Step into the focus to use my ghost sight. My ghost sight. Ghost sight OP. Necron forbids summoning the dead. Sir, you are a ghost? Should haunt there. Does haunt just mean like hang out for ghosts? Is that is that how this works? Nope. Don't jump down. Is this just a gate? I don't even know. I do it's locked. Of course it's locked. Thanks, Zoss, for locking the gate. I don't even know where that gate goes. Where does it go? Oh, it goes up here. To the Telvani Peninsula Peninsula. Just let me I'm gonna guess ghost sight. No? Blight crown! He killed me. I'll destroy them all. She's angry. What is this guy doing? Is that his teleport animation? That's kind of sick. Honestly, if that was like a quest reward, I'd do that quest. Breathe the relic, and I can't stand the thought of you facing this danger without me. What is this weird romance? Vomitus. That is correct, Scroot. Bananas. Okay. No falling. Don't fall. These heights. <laughs> They're so scary. Oh. Uh, honestly, I'm so scared that I might, like, make it really far, you know. I'll get close to, like, the trifecta that I want in Vodastron Hollows, and then I'm gonna lose it to, like, a missed grapple. Ugh. And that will be just devastating. Okay, watchers can kill me. Watchers can kill me. That scared the living crap out of me. My stomach actually just dropped. Look, you guys are probably so tired of me saying that heights are terrifying, but they are terrifying. I, like, my stomach is literally clenched. Mm. Like, look, the fastest way looks like it's, you go, you go down. But I can't risk it. I can't risk it. Yeet. That was terrifying. Okay. Oh, the floor, there's actually a floor down here. This is, like, kind of a really cool dungeon. I just wish the combat was, like, hard, you know? Like, I wish I had to be, like, CP160 for this. With, like, a full build, you know? Sir? Why do you have 2 million health? That's not very typical. Do I actually have to deal 2 million health and damage? It's a kind of a bummer that he has, like, so much health and deals so little damage. But also... For this level, this is kind of cool. Oh, and the ghost sight helps deal a lot of damage. That's the MacGuffin that they usually use. They give you like a power up of some sort that lets you deal a bunch more damage. Step into the focus and use my ghost sight. Oh yeah, ultimate with a ghost sight. So many hits, so much damage. Finally, we finally get to know what the heck is going on. Abyssal Cephaliarch's body art. Um, meh? Help you find Blightcrown, Laramil. Sure. What do we do about this corruption? Does it do anything else? Do you know if I'm in danger? Okay. Could this person have made their clothes any shinier? Oh my gosh. I just want to point out that it says, Decide, mortal. And I can say either, All right, and continue the quest, or I can say goodbye, and do nothing. I can't actually decide anything here. I only have one option. Don't tell me to decide, and then don't let me decide. I feel so empowered by the decision that I made to help this guy who's been the bad guy, but is now the good guy, or a, a neutral guy? I don't know, I see a heavy sack. Given how many people end up in Oblivion, and the different planes of Oblivion, I kind of feel like you would just, like, see a lot of people going to the, the different planes for vacations. Just like, oh, let's spend the weekend in Apocrypha, you know? Let's let's go to Fargrave, everybody. Do I need to talk to them? Optional steps. I don't care. We're going. Corruption Holy right. nuts. They really went all out with the environment design, though. This is kind of nuts. It's the yellow fate magic. Why can't we do the yellow fate magic? I want yellow. Okay. He's a monk. 
And there's new animations here. New class next year? Anybody? Anybody? Do you know how cool it would be if we had a skill like this where you could like channel in the middle and it just knocked them back and it kept enemies from being able to enter it? And it didn't put you on like crowd control immunity? That would be so freaking cool. Look, all we want is the monk skills. The Arcanist is a fantastic class and we still want to be monks. That's what we want, Zoss. Give it to us next year, please. Must win? That looks a lot more like must puke. Let's learn more things. This is so cool though. Vermina. I gotta fight a Daedric Prince now? Oh, this is the climax, isn't it? Please don't actually kill me, Vermina. Burn, witch. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> honestly, it's kind of terrifying. Bonk. What if I don't will? What if I'm just chilling, you know? Like, what if I just want to stand here? What if even better, I just want to like teleport out? You know, the goop. I think in first person this makes the, oh God. I'm not at all invested, but that was gross. Wow. Honestly, that's pretty huge. Set loose on the stacks. And Fate's Chosen confounded the forces of Vermina and Periant, saving Nern and Apocrypha. Is this another one of those you finished and everyone gathers around you that you've helped? All hail Fate's Chosen. Oh my gosh, it is, isn't it? Oh, it hurts. Everybody complained that this is how they've ended every chapter. Everybody complained, and they did it again. All right, Laramel, I'm out. I don't like you. Goodbye. If they want, Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, I guess we're gonna get a new season one outfit right here. This is episode one, because we, unless this outfit looks like trash. All right, everyone, that is the first 13 levels done with another 37 to go before we get our first champion points. I will be putting out the next episode of this in two weeks, where we'll be trying to hit level 50, and I've got a fun plan for leveling all the way to 50. We're gonna do some fun public dungeon strategies that you aren't gonna to wanna to miss. If you liked this video, I would appreciate it so much if you hit the like button and subscribed. This video was a ton of fun to put together and I'm really hoping it's gonna be just as fun to watch. Until the next video, check out this playlist where I am using my heavy attack tank warden to use the dungeon finder to complete all veteran DLC dungeons with random players. It's been a ton of fun so far. So until next time, I'll see you all in the next excuse.